I knew it was gonna be drums. is incredible, amazing, out of this world. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh my gosh, bro. You know, guys, I'm gonna like you know the idea about the two pieces, you know, close to the guitar. Uh, it's like a drum. Ooh. Oh my gosh, what a song! Ooh. Incredible, 
Alibata is incredible, amazing, out of this world. Oh, okay, I, I have an idea. Yes, all right. <laughs> I love it. I love it, the do-it-yourself uh, type of little drums that Alip uh, attached with tape to the guitar. That's both smart and very effective. And it's tapping with the, with the finger, doing a little bit of percussion on it. That's super nice. So super nice the way he probably really chose the um, he really chose the the sound you know the note of the little plastic bottles and cup to combine with the melody of the song I think it's pretty awesome let's skip a little bit further <laughs> version of Alip it's a little bit softer it's a little bit slower so and, and of course it becomes much more of a lullaby I like it the original version it's more like the original version of course is more trying to be also a more pop song to deliver the message also to appeal to a younger audience so you have those that, like when you hear a leap version then it becomes immediately more folky and just more relaxed and lullaby-ish <laughs> what I did inshallah but, uh, I think because he changed maybe like a tone he changed like uh, yeah he changed the note to do the it's not like the original part of the chorus where he goes like inshallah inshallah no, no it is just me not me not me me It's important to spread love, especially now. I knew it was going to be drums. I'll tell you right now. Should I admit? I'm not going to tell you anything specific. I'm going to tell you this. I've been playing guitar for 25 years. It's crazy. I've never seen someone set up drums like that. A leap con consistently pushing the boundaries. I, I love it. I love it. So if you're counting the beats, he's putting the hits on three when he hit when he smacks it with his finger. Okay, this song is awesome. <laughs> it's it's not. I mean, sometimes he plays pretty stuff that I think is beautiful, but it's like not like I'm not into it 100. percent it's a small amount, a small amount. Uh, but this is, I like this style, I like what he's doing, but I want to back up, I want to, I want to look at something. And I always wanted to check on, is when he's tapping with his fingers on the guitar, like, so he, he hits the percussion, the bottles, or the cups, and then he taps on the face. He also taps with his left hand at the same time. Which is like, it's like rubbing your stomach and smacking your head. But watch. When he taps with his fingers underneath the strings, he taps with his fretting hand on the bass notes. You see in the string, you keep singing. 
And if you let go, it dies. So he's actually keeping the notes ringing while he does the other stuff, which is, it's actually very, very, very important. A lot of guitarists, when they focus on something else, they let go of notes. And a leap is not doing that. Back up. <laughs> I'm just gonna back it up because I love when it goes like top, top. I guess I missed it. Perfect, perfect example. We're gonna back up. When he ends that run, he holds the last bass note down and then he reaches over while he's holding that bass note. And that is key. His, he's letting his guitar sing while he hits those notes. Bottle he's using right with the nipple taken out. That's pretty damn amazing. Hell yeah, dude. Good job, Elite.